Michael here with Mike for the Metro Gas, singing along to Craig David. One nil to the gas. How was it? Uh, yeah, yeah, it was tough. They were, they were a tough side. We knew they were going to be quite dogged, um, good in the air, quite direct, um, and, and they gave us a gave us a good battle. But um, I'm just pleased. We're working on something at the moment. We've been working on the training for, for the last week or so. Um, and we weren't sort of forfeiting the result, but we sort of said, look, as part of the result, let's just try and really work on the, the shape and, and the way they're going to play. And didn't necessarily click today, but I was really pleased with just the spirit and just the desire to, to not lose at the end. But I felt for most of the game we were quite comfortable, if not a little nervy within ourselves. But um, I don't think that would really made maybe two saves in the first couple of minutes and then one excellent save right at the end but other than that I think we were quite comfortable yeah uh, first half I think I said it to Daryl uh, it was about maybe 90% us the whole game in the first half um, early early chances probably should have took a few more and then George has a back heel doesn't go in and then he scores from almost the exact same throw in um, yeah great what, what do you think of the whole first half yeah I, I... I would like to have gone in two or three up, I think. I think that would have been a fair reflection on the first half. Um, the effort was there. Uh, the, I think we were quite relaxed in the way we were playing. I think at times our decision making wasn't as good as it could have been. Um, <clears throat> but that, I think that's going to come. Like you know, It's a bit of a, a, bit of a manager's cliche, but I can, I can see us clicking in, in the next couple of weeks when they're working so hard in training and so receptive to what we're trying to do. And the effort and the attitude. We're developing how we want to play, so I really feel like in the next couple of weeks it's going to really click with the boys, and it will be just rewards for the effort. Uh, a couple of changes out there you had uh, Josh Lewis down the left today, um, it looked really good from what I could see. What do you think of their performance and the partnership at left back and left wing? Uh, how do you think? Um, <laughs> jo Josh is Lewis has got so much potential, so much untapped potential. I think for me, it's about trying to find the right position to, to, to get the most from him. Um, it's, 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 it will always give you 100% um, his efforts. Always there. Again, it's not always got the right attitude, but he's such a dangerous player. I want to make sure he's um, and, and Josh, <coughs> every position I've played Josh in, he'll give you 110%. Again, he's not got the right attitude, he just wants to learn. Um, and he seems to be giving me a good solid, you know, eight or nine out of ten in every position he plays. I think it's just tweaking with those two at the moment, whether it works better on the right the same side together, who works better for the forward, etc. But you know, what I'm, what I'm liking is that we're experimenting, and it's, it's still always giving me options. Uh, and obviously, your team comes in one nil up at half time, having so many chances. Um, what I, you know, what do you say to them at half time to sort of calm them down a little bit? I don't, yeah, I don't know. You say that, like, you know. I think we dominated possession, but I don't think we forced the keeper into too many saves. And I think we just said when we got in, let's just relax. Like, you know, let's not lose focus. Just we're going to go up, let's not lose focus of what we wanted to do. So we just, just like you say, just tried to calm them down and start the game again. Start as a, again, another bit of cliche. Start as a nil nil. Just relax and keep playing football. And I was really pleased with the way we we set about the second half. Um, again, could have had a couple of chances. I think the last five minutes was a bit nervy because they're stuck for everything at us and fair play to them. But the game really pleased with the way we were playing. Um, we spoke to Daryl, we've got man and match in quite rightly so, but you know, phenomenal save at the, the end of the game. But I think he got man and match just for his whole presence and his leadership. You know, I think maybe three or four saves in the whole game, but just the way he dealt with the ball, the way he dealt with crosses, he was composed, he kept talking, he was leading the defence. Just really pleased with his overall performance. Yeah, I, I would agree with what you're saying. Um, I hope so. <laughs> I don't know. Sometimes I don't. But, um, you know, to, to see what Daryl's come a long way since the beginning of pre-season, not to say he didn't have a good pre-season, but he looked much more confident with the team now he had than a shock, he did. He had a shocking pre-season. He was atrocious. Uh, and then we told everyone he had holiday, but we just kept him away for a few weeks. <laughs> he's come back. And, uh, look, he's, Daryl's, Daryl's, Daryl's one of the... Most technically gifted goalkeeper I know. Um, I think he was just, you know, I think he'd had a long time out of the season. He'd had a bad injury, and I think he was just unsure as to whether he could still do it to the level he would want. But you've seen, as you said yourself, he's grown every week, and today I think was nigh on the perfect performance. Literally, I, I can't perform 
and we're about to get to that perfect form. So second half, um, it looked like the game opened up a bit more. Uh, a few more chances each side. Uh, Josh Smith goes through one on one, goes a bit too far wide. We send tie on, a few more things happen. And then at the end they get a corner and it comes in and Daryl makes this fantastic save. There's no other word that he comes in, goes over the. the, I, the I, mean, I thought it was in. It's, uh, no, it's I, was, I was standing there. Uh, he's kicked into the bar and it's bounced straight back out. So, um, but you know they were calling for it. But what was your reflection of the second half? Um, I think you, you're right. Like we, where I think if it was later in the season, we'd be trying to see that out and just you know not not sit, but we'd be cautious and be tight and make sure that we don't concede. But I think today we were like, Look, let's try and entice them out a bit more, try and make it a bit more of an open game because I think we had faith that you know I thought Joel's Joel's running off the ball is, is, is second to none, and I know he gets frustrated because he makes these phenomenal runs um, and he doesn't often get the pass, but <clears throat> he, he he makes space and generates space for other players and we felt the uh, George when he was up there Lewis when he was up there and Josh when he was up there we were all benefiting from that today but they all had great games and it's probably one of the most rounded games I've seen George have and I was, I was pleased he got his goal because he'd had an excellent training run um, and he, he deserved that so the second half sort of went how we wanted I would have liked to have got an early goal because I think we would have relaxed into the game a bit more but um, I'm pleased I've really liked it uh, last three things how do you think what do you think of your opponents today? I really like Sutton. I like Sutton as a club. I know a few of their players. I know their their manager. I know Ben Yarn who came on. Who's, who's, I'm sure he's older than me. I don't know he's still doing it. <laughs> but um, look, just a good, solid side. I think um, just maybe missing a bit of cutting edge up top. But in another day, I think they yeah, kind of easily have got something today. But yeah, nice, nice side. Nice side to play against. Nice club. First time I've seen you as well since uh, you know I've been away and stuff. And, um, we did see me last week. So. But you, it was your birthday, so you ran off. Um, so I wanted to just say, you know, how is your season going? Because obviously now you've seen your team in action uh, a handful of times now, and you're putting a lot of youth into this team as well. You know, the Metro Gas youth has been fantastic uh, from what we've seen. You know, even we used to do were surprised by a lot of the youth players they had here, and how last year they they just wasn't clicking. So, what's your overall view of your season so far, and what do you think of Metro Gas as a club in general? That you now you've been here to I'm absolutely loving the club. I said that before, like genuinely from, from Tim to the reserves, the, the, the whole management structure throughout it, um, Stu and Gal have been brilliant and, and everyone that's been in and around the first team and everyone in and around the reserves, we've, we've got the same sort of ethos and, and just a great attitude and, and some of the kids are, some of the kids, you know, all the kids are like 18, 19, but some of them, their attitudes have been phenomenal and their efforts have been phenomenal. Um, and I'm just I'm pleased, you know, I'm pleased we've had a season's gone because I feel like we've had a solid start. No, we haven't. And I only worked for so long, but some of them have been come on today. But it's been a solid start, and I don't feel like we're going to say if we can carry on like this and, and a few things from this way. So we're going to move towards. Mind that's all we've got. Thanks, Tommy. Tell me more, tell me more, did she not have a fight? <laughs> <laughs> 